Now, do you talk about what you talk about in your seminar in this book, Men Cry in the Dark, when you talk about men being dogs a little bit? I mean, do you think that we all dogs? No, I what? think that there's a lot of men who transition. We, you know, a lot of most of the good guys out here are men who've been players. Some of these reverends out here have been players. So it's a transition. I think that a lot of men, unfortunately, have not been able to make that transition. Their development has been arrested. And to a degree, I, yeah, those men are still dogs. You're going to have to define player for me. Well, a player, to me, there's a difference between a bachelor and a player. The player is a guy who is playing, you know, telling lies, playing games. I'm, I'm with you when he knows that he has other women. The bachelor, who's the men that I like to deal with, are the men that say, look, I'm, a, you know, I'm attracted to you. I want to be involved with you, but I'm seeing other women. And he gives the woman an option to be involved with him or not. The bachelor also has a lifestyle that's very settled. So he's not looking to be settled down. He's already a se settled, stable man who has goals, has his own place, you know, has already experienced the world to a degree. So there's a difference between the player who plays and the bachelor who just lives his life as a single man. Can we get married and mm -hmm. not lust after other people? Because you talk about the fact that a brother will get married, mm -hmm. but yet and still he's thinking, I'm still going to be single. Well, some, some men do. I mean, most, I think the vast majority of men get married still believing they're going to have a single lifestyle. And that may not include sex, but it still means having their freedom, keeping company with women sometimes, which gets them in trouble. But for the most part, I think it's just an issue of men not really understanding what marriage is. And I think a lot of guys need to spend more time developing their bachelorism, living their lives first as single men, so that they are settled, as I said, before they even venture into marriage. Because marriage, you have to understand, marriage involves living with a woman. And I don't think people really understand how complicated that can be if you're a 30 or 40 year old person, what it means to share space. It's very difficult. Now they say that 50% of all marriages end in divorce. Do you think that's one of the reasons that because we, we, we really haven't grown up now, when, we, when we get married a definitely, lot of times? Definitely, and I, I think that most people don't even know why they're getting married in the first place. I mean, for me, if you can't answer a simple question, what is the goal of your marriage, then you have no business getting married. And it can't be love, it can't be children, because those things are separate from what the business of love, of a relationship and a marriage is all about. Marriages need to have common goals. If you all don't share common goals, then what are you gonna do for the next 10 or 15 years outside of loving each other? There's more to it than just love. What do you think the goal should be? I mean, you all should be involved in something that you can both demonstrate your talents in. It has to be some kind of business that's gonna grow you. It can be community service, it can be education, it can be entrepreneurship, but it's gotta be something that allows both of you to, to exercise your talents as a couple. If you don't have that, then you never get a chance to admire your man, you never get a chance to admire your woman for their talents. All you are is two people shacking, and that's not what marriage should be all about. Do you think that when kids come into the picture, it makes it harder? Sure, because now marriage. time has been divided. You know, the woman doesn't have as much time. You know, the woman's body changes. She feels differently about herself. Sometimes the man feels differently about her. And you say so, yeah. sex changes, too. Sometimes it does change because of the way the man feels about the woman, because of the way the woman feels about herself. So it's, it's complicated, man, which is why you got to have more than just that love feeling thing going on. You have to feel like that person is your partner and that outside of, in addition, rather, to the love, this is somebody you really don't want to live without. And doesn't it all include confidence, too? You know, a lot of self-confidence. Self confidence Because if you're not, if you're not okay by yourself, mm -hmm. how are you going to be okay with, with somebody, somebody else? else? Again, there's a quote that I always uh, put out there when I'm on the radio and in my seminars. It's by a Greek philosopher, French philosopher, rather, mm -hmm. uh, in the 1600s. He said, all men's miseries derive from not being able to sit quietly in a room alone. Now, that says to me that people can't stand be, being by themselves and that people don't think. And it's very important that people know how to think. And most people do not think before they make decisions about kids, about business, about life, relationships, you name it. People are just spontaneous. And if you had to give any advice to the fellas and to the women out there, mm -hmm. what kind of advice would you give them uh, in terms of their relationship mm -hmm. and giving them something that they can hold on to that they can think about when they're trying okay. to keep it all together. Because it is simple. very hard out there. Very simple. And, and the simple response to that is this. Understand the significance of time. See, when you start understanding the significance of time, man, everything changes because you get a sense of urgency. And when you have a sense of urgency, it's just like you rushing out the house to get to work. You don't want to hear nonsense conversation, do you? You don't want to mess around with things that don't need to be done, do you? Because you're in a hurry. And I think because people are so relaxed about life, believing tomorrow's promise, that they're relaxed about the people they spend their time with, the people that they share their bed with, and the people that they allow in their space. I have a sense of urgency, therefore I value my time, therefore I value the people I spend my time with. Thank you. Michael Bazin, author of Men Crying in the right, Dark and Maintenance Man. Good luck with it. Thanks for having me.